Okay, here we're going to do the uh, break-even chart here for uh, the 2014 accounting uh, question 8 marginal cost of question. So first on the left-hand side here we have all of the calculations that we've done. So we've worked out our variable cost per unit, we've worked out our total of our fixed costs, we need that number definitely and then we'll need our sales revenue. So we'll start labeling the diagram first and then we'll start putting our numbers in. So first <coughs> I've got my quantity in I need to first put in my the the maximum that I'm expecting to sell which is the current forecast output so it's gonna be 16,000 so if I go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 so I'll put 16 there and then uh, our break-even point is 8,800, so I label the 8,000 one as well. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8. I might just put in the break-even uh, point itself. So that's 8,000, so 8,800 is going to be somewhere around there. And I need to put in my label for the fixed costs which I'm going to say this is 1000 so I'll put it in there so that's 105,000 is there if that's a hundred thousand that line there so 105 is about right there and then I need to put in the sales revenue that I'm going to get at my break-even point so that's a hundred thousand that's two hundred thousand so it'll be somewhere around there so it's uh, 265263 uh, and that's about right there so now I need to draw my lines <coughs> so I need to draw a line straight from the 8800 units I just put a straight line up and I'll draw another similar straight line from my forecast sales which is 16,000 and I'll put that straight vertical as well then I'm going to draw another line from the 250 to 65, that's my sales revenue line. And again, I'll just draw that as a straight line. So now, where these two points meet, that's going to be my, uh, my break-even point. So I might just label that. So I'm just going to put a BEP, my break-even point. That's that one, that point there. So I'll draw a line from the origin to those to the break-even point. That's going to be my total cost line. And then I'll draw another one from my fixed cost, which is approximately there, just over a hundred thousand, through my break-even point also. And then I need to label those. So the one from the origin up is my total cost. And then the second line here is going to be my total revenue, our sales revenue. So the last thing I need to show is the difference between my current quantity and uh, my forecast quantity, which is my margin of safety. So I'll label that as well. That's that point there, and that's the difference between the two of those. So you could draw a line connecting the two of those through the margin of safety, maybe make it a little bit easier. If I draw a line from there to there, that's my margin of safety, just that point there. Okay, I hope that makes a little bit of sense to you.